Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Smith. I must have the wrong number. Uh, my name is Blake Humphrey with Keller Williams Realty. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? I'm great. Uh, you enjoying the weather? Yeah. Pretty yeah. hot. Pretty busy, but nice. Yeah, it's definitely awesome. Yeah, well, I'm just calling. I'm, I don't want to take too much of your time. Uh, I just was looking at some market analysis of uh, our area and uh, just wondering uh, basically how in the world could I help you? If you have an agent you're working with, um, if you looking to buy or sell. Man, if you can believe that was Blake Humphrey up in Colorado three years ago. He was two weeks in the business. And just after New Year's, he sent me this email right here. He says, hey, Ricky, I hope you had a happy new year. I wanted to reach out in full circle and give you an update on how you've impacted my life and my career. You did a live YouTube when I was two weeks into the business. On July 9th, 2019, I had just got my license and was really, really green. Here's the link to the video. Since then, I've made over 80,000 calls and follow the ZTD program to a T, including the weekly email. You've helped me create over $1 million in GCI in just three years. I wanted to send you this email because you indeed spent an hour with me on some pretty brutal phone calls. 2022 was my best year, despite people saying last year was a down market. I did 20 million in total sales this year just by helping people in my market. I've perfected my craft and style in a way and perhaps do a live session to show proof of how the ZTD program actually works in any market. I've built my style around yours, helping people. Thank you, Ricky. I wouldn't have been able to do this without coming across your content when I first started. Blake Humphrey, C3 Real Estate Solutions. And so after I got that email, I decided I was going to watch a little bit of those calls to try to refresh my memory. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I absolutely remembered that call session. So I emailed him right back and I said, wow, bro, I just watched some of the video. That's nuts. How old are you? Where are you? He said, when we did that video, I was 20 years old. I just turned 24 years old. So I thought this was an amazing story. It inspired me and I wanted to get him on an interview immediately. So I brought him on a Zoom call to catch up with him, ask a couple questions and see where he is now and what his goals are moving forward. And I have to say, I'm super impressed and he does have some really big goals. So I'm going to share that interview with you now. So enjoy and let me know what you think in the comments. Oh, and I'm going to put a link to that call session from three years ago in the description. What's going on, man? Blake, how are you, bro? I'm doing great. How are you, man? Good to see you again, ma'am. Great to see you. I'm glad I reached out. I it was uh it was funny. I was I, I saw an Instagram post and I I thought I was like, man, I wonder if he still got that video we did back in the day. And I found it. I'm like, man, this is crazy. Yeah, dude. It was real crazy. I uh I watched some of it myself and I was like, wow. So, I mean, walk us through it, dude. You, you, I mean, you made a million dollars in your first three years in the business. You got in when you were 21, right? Yeah, I was actually 20, um, about to turn 21. Um, or I was actually, I got in, yep, when I was 20, about to turn 21. And now I just turned 24. So I've been right. in the business licensed for about three and a half years now. It's amazing, so, bro. It's amazing. It's, uh, it, it, it's, it's been amazing. Um, it's just incredible to see, you know, I was talking to somebody from, he lives in Amsterdam and he does brokering. I mean, he's a broker in Amsterdam and they don't, they, the, the buyer pays the buyer's agent and the seller pays the seller's agent there. And I was thinking, you know, I'm so grateful to live in the most beautiful, the most submissive marketplace in the entire world selling real estate. I mean, we, we just are so grateful, you know, so blessed. Yeah, I mean, I was thinking about that too, you know, like there's 8 billion people in the world and there's about 2 to 3 million agents in the US, you know, from what, you know, what it looks like. I mean, <laughs> there's there's a lot of people in the world that would die to be a real estate agent in the US with all the um technology and infrastructure uh, to go out and, you know, literally get exclusive listings, you know, and um it's amazing. I mean 
It's incredible. And it's, it, the industry has even changed a lot since I've, you know, I started back in 2019. It's, it's changed a lot um, since then as well. But I mean, man, I just, I hit the phones as hard as I possibly could. I started at eight and I ended at eight, you know, PM. I mean, and some of the best calls I've ever gotten were past that 6 PM point, you know, when mm-hmm. people are getting home and people are having dinner, interrupting their dinner. Right. And when I shifted my mindset to, I really got good after I hit about 25,000 calls. And then I shifted my mindset to, wow, they should be happy. I'm calling them like, I'm doing them a service that I'm calling them, you know, because I'm, I'm good at my craft. Right. And my first, my first listing came from a, it was a call back and they said, look, you know, you just call us about our property. And I was like, yeah, do you live over here on one, two, three main? And they said, no, that you have the wrong number, but it was interesting because we are trying to sell our house in a completely different city. And I mean, man, it's just, it's just crazy when you do go that wide, how many people you can help. Yeah, it's like I say, man, um, you know, agents, you know, the, this this entire business is predicated on you talking to people you don't know to help them buy and sell, right? Regardless of where you get your leads from. But if you could think of yourself as like a volunteer worker, you know, doing community outreach, right, to see who needs help today, you know, in terms of buying or selling real estate and uh, build the relationships with everyone, regardless if they do or not, you know, it you can really you can really do some, I mean, you, you can really go from, you know, basically growing up in a very poor environment like I did. And I mean, you have the, I I think about the opportunity and it's like, dude, you could come from nothing and literally be a millionaire. So that's incredible, man. I mean, I guess walk us through a little bit. You call from you call from eight to eight, from eight to eight, and then I and then my success ate itself very quickly. Um, I would I would get on the phones from eight, and then I really it was about time blocking my schedule, and so I got to the point where I would only do appointments after three p.m. Right, and so I would call from eight to three, and then I would go out and I would stack I would stack listing appointments on top of each other till eight nine p.m. You know, I mean, and I mean, some, some of these folks, they didn't get home till seven 30 and, you know, give the kids bath and whatnot. And they said, look, we can only meet at eight. I'm like, I'm there, you know? And, um, I just, I walked as many properties as I could perfected my craft as I could. I mean, I was 20 years old. I mean, I was wearing baggy pants, tennis shoes. So I really, you know, my first closing, I bought a nice suit, you know, now I have like, you know, 15 suit and I just, I wear a suit and tie every day because I have to look the part and people think I'm 30. You know, because I've developed my craft, I have really increased my vocabulary. And I mean, I I have more experience than most agents do 15 years because I worked six, seven times as hard. I mean, it's just, it just is what it is. So I, I developed a niche. You know, we started selling a lot of um, farm and ranch, um, luxury property in my area. So I um, I really pushed myself to to another, I mean, to a whole different dimension. I mean, yeah. to be honest. What's amazing is, you know, when you build your database and I, I really built my database as wide, but as niche as I could, you, you're, you're going through your follow-ups and you see somebody that listed in your database. That's literally how you know that this, this, this process works, right? And you just didn't do enough, a good a job. You didn't do your job well enough to, to make that relationship with them the way that you could have, or they listed with their sister or whatever. Right. But I, I've, I, I've taken deals because I've been better equipped than the agents that they knew, you know, and I didn't, and I respected those other agents in my marketplace, but I mean, I, I came like a predator. I mean, I, I came literally like a dominating force. In mm-hmm. the marketplace. And I just started kicking down doors. I, I, yeah. I rolled my red throne out in so many different areas, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's what you have to do. I mean, that that's, that's how you have to think. I'm going to, I'm going to go do this and nothing. That's why I got into to making calls. You know, because yeah. once I figured out that the leads that I was getting, you know, from postcards and, you know, I tried Zillow for a month and, you know, all the, you know, lead generation sources were the same people. I was like, man, I can just call people like I'm getting leads and they're telling me they're hanging up. on. I'll, I'll buy a lead and they'll hang up on me. And I'm yeah. like, well, if, I, if I'm cold calling anyway 
<laughs> let me just call everybody and get really good at communicating. So that's yeah. amazing, bro. That is that is such an incredible story. So where do where do you go from here? Like what's the what's the plan? What's the goal this year? Well, I kind of I have a I have a team underneath me where we really um I have a buyer's agent and then basically um, that buyer's agent is becoming the listing specialist. I'm helping him with that. And then we're implementing a new buyer's agent. Um, you know, truthfully, Ricky, I'm, I've real estate has enabled me to, um, you know, show myself and to expose some of the skills that I've had innately my whole entire life that God has given to me, but I just haven't exposed them. I haven't um, broke out of my shell until now. And, and I'm a, uh, you know, I'm going on to, I'm doing, you know, I'm, I'm now doing a, I still want to be involved in real estate. I just put together a, um, we got 150 people, agents, new agents, and even seasoned agents within my marketplace. And I put together three other speakers and I was the keynote speaker, but we just did a mindset thing. And we, it was a completely private event. We didn't advertise it on social media and we filled up our space. It was a free event. And so I've been, you know, I've been public speaking a lot. I've been mentoring a lot. Um, you know, I'm on a very high level brokerage here locally. I've been mentoring new agents, pushing them to their extremes. And I mean, man, I've just become obsessed with personal development. And um, I'm going on to basically, um, I'm, I'm, I'm basically doing mergers and acquisitions. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a roll up at the moment right now. So we basically, I'm, I'm the founding director and the CEO of a holding entity. And we, we're, um, we're buying, selling, flipping businesses, but I'm using the same skills. And like, it's funny that you said that because when you buy leads, when these agents are like, oh, well, I'll just buy the leads, you have to talk to them anyways. Mm -hmm. the, the universal skill set that you learn by doing th by making thousands of calls, they they get us into different spaces. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. So I've been I've been, you know, I've been operating out of a sales wheel uh, more into an entrepreneur um, asset building and um, you know, leadership infusing mindset. That's incredible, man. And yet you're absolutely right. Um, people, agents think they want to sell forever. I, I even thought I might be a real estate agent forever. I didn't really think about what's next and stuff. But then I got to the point where, you know, I was bored with sales. Um, I'd reached the pinnacle. So then it was like, okay, what's next? And that's when I got into coaching and yeah. creating content and everything. And I knew that that would lead towards building other businesses and other industries and doing other things, you know? So, yeah. um, yeah, so you, you're just, <laughs> you're doing the same thing I'm doing. Basically, you're just doing it a lot quicker, a lot smarter, a lot better, a lot, a lot faster, a lot stronger. Well, I, I truthfully, I wouldn't be, I mean, I'm so grateful and blessed to be in this place right now to have this perspective. And I know it's just only going to get clearer more elite um but i wouldn't be in spot right now if i didn't if i didn't pick up the phones and start and start and excuse me but i didn't pick up the phones and start fucking dialing i mean i mean i made eighty thousand cold calls and i and i looked at the room you know the 150 agents in the room and i said look I'm, this is out of humility but i've made more phone calls than all of you combined why why am i obsessed why am i more passionate about what you're capable of why do I care more about what you're capable of and your success than you do? That's a problem, man. That's the problem is these people don't understand what they're capable of in this marketplace. Mm -hmm. No, you know, that's so, true, man. It's just so it's just so apparent to me, and that's why I have done. You know, I could have done better, but that's why I've, I'm not more skilled, right, than these other agents. Yeah, that what 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 we do anybody can do <laughs> they just don't do it right so i mean the way that it's been broken down to me is that 95 percent of people are just not going to go out and do what they need to do to succeed at the highest levels only five percent will which means one out of 20 right one out of 20 people will really go out there and you know do something um, and probably only one out of 20 of those, one out of 20 will actually go out there and do things like what you've accomplished, you know, where you just don't basically take no for an answer. And, you know, like I made a hundred thousand calls, right? That's, that's the number I did. Of course I was hand dialing. So could you imagine that? No, I couldn't. Cause there's I did days 100... I did a thousand calls on a triple line. 
you know? Yeah, it took me it took me 15 years. Of course, that was I lost I left the business and everything else. So there was some time in there I wasn't even calling or you know doing real estate. But 15 years in, I'd made a hundred thousand calls, hand dialing. You know, so it was wild. But um, and, and so like you're the perfect example of someone who has taken today's technology of the dialers and the and the and the data that you can get with the snap of a finger for pennies and applied it to make the, you know, approaching 100,000 calls within just a couple of years. This is what I tell people, like you can go do what I did over 15 years and literally three to five years and, and literally be where I was at the 15 year mark, which went at the 15 year mark, I was making 600 a year. Um, you know, it wasn't until year 17 that I hit a million. I was I made 600 that 15th year. So, um, you know, that's exactly where people could be in three to five years, make 100,000 calls, nurture those relationships, do the weekly email. It's so simple. Like your program is you, you've you've outlined it almost too simple where they, these people, <laughs> they want to over spreadsheet it. And it's like, why? What? But that's what society teaches us is to over spreadsheet everything. Yeah. And, and then, I mean, truthfully, I didn't, I only called for about a year and then mm -hmm. I, grew, I had this amazing database. I couldn't get out of my database. Yeah. I mean, when I have, you know, when I have, I think the most properties I've ever had pending at once under contract was of like 14. I mean, when you have 14 okay. pending, you can't, you, there's no way you can sit three, four hours on the phone. It, it's very hard. I, I can't mm -hmm. say you can't, but you're not going to be calling. These people don't understand. You're not going to be calling forever. This is a, this, we're going to, we're going to make the calls. Because you can, the first day you make calls, you have deals. Because if you talk to people that, that live there, that have a heartbeat and live there, you can do that deal when they sell. And that, mm -hmm. that's, it just takes time because, Ricky, we're not selling solar panels. We're not selling Vivint. If we were selling Vivint, we'd kick down their door and say, you buy it right now. Mm -hmm. But it's a long-term transactional play and nurture because this is their home. Yeah. Well, bro, I'm proud of you, and um, I can't wait to see what you do next. So yeah. let's definitely stay in touch, man, and maybe we'll be business partners on something in the future. Yeah, I'd love to, and I love what you're what you're doing um, in the public spotlight and stuff like that. I mean, it's it's inspiring, and I just I know there's I'm not the only one in this position, um, just from zero to diamond. So. I want to, I want to. Look. I'm 35 with the top down. Quit to tell a hater they should get like me. Seen 